And here at UN headquarters this morning, the Deputy Secretary General held a town hall meeting to update UN staff on the outbreak caused by the influenza A, H1N1 virus, as it is called now. Joining the Deputy Secretary General by video conference were Assistant Director General of the World Health Organization, Keiji Fukuda, who gave an overview of the epidemic. He said that as of this morning, the number of lab confirmed cases of H1N1 had risen to 331, up from 236 yesterday. 11 countries are reporting cases, with 156 cases reported in Mexico, 109 in the U.S., and 34 in Canada, among other countries. Fukuda said that the virus was capable of creating a pandemic, but that we were not at that point yet. Noting that outside Mexico, infections have been mostly mild, he said that the question now was to see how this was going to evolve. He also said that the question, concern was whether the virus would spread in the southern hemisphere, adding that the impact could be different there. For her part, the Deputy Secretary General said that the primary focus was on the safety and security of staff and assets, but that there were also plans for continuing to provide critical functions wherever the United Nations is working. Headquarters offices have developed preparedness and continuity plans and have tested them, she added. She encouraged staff to keep themselves informed through meetings, websites, and the Internet, noting the launch on Monday of a UN staff pandemic information portal that enables staff to receive updated information if working away from the office. And just a few minutes ago, the World Health Organization wrapped up a press conference focusing mostly on the development of a vaccine against the H1N1 virus. WHO said that there was little chance that the current vaccine used against seasonal influenza would be effective against this particular virus. It added that it was in discussion with manufacturers to start producing a vaccine as soon as possible. However, having the first dosage available for immunization will take four to six months, according to WHO. WHO also said that it was in discussion to make sure the vaccine was available to the poorest people in developing countries. And also on this subject, an informal meeting of the General Assembly will be held on Monday, the 4th of May, at 9 a.m. in Conference Room 3 to hear a briefing by the Secretary General on the outbreak of influenza A, H1N1, and the state of preparedness of the organization. Member states are obviously uh, invited to attend. He will be joined by Margaret Chan, the Director General of WHO, by video conference, the Deputy Secretary General, and David Navarro, the Senior UN System Coordinator for Influenza. That's Monday morning at 9 a.m.